Have you ever wondered what keeps your feet firmly planted on the ground? Is it merely a force, or is there something more to it? Gravity, you might say. Yes, indeed, it's gravity. But let's delve a little deeper. It's not just a force that keeps you from floating away into the great unknown. It's a fundamental element of our universe, an unseen hand guiding the celestial dance. It's the reason our Earth orbits the sun in a perfect ballet, creating the seasons we know and love. It's the reason an apple falls from a tree, the reason the tides rise and fall. It's inescapable, it's everywhere. And it's influencing every single moment of our lives. Gravity is the silent puppeteer, pulling the strings of the universe. It's the glue that holds everything together. But what if there's more to gravity than meets the eye? What if it's not just a force, but a key to understanding the fabric of the universe itself? Quantum gravity, two words that have baffled scientists for decades. But what exactly does it mean? Imagine a dance floor, with general relativity and quantum mechanics as the two main dancers. They have their own unique rhythm and moves, but they just can't seem to dance in sync. That's the conundrum of quantum gravity in a nutshell. Let's take a step back for a moment. General relativity, proposed by Albert Einstein, beautifully describes the force of gravity and the large-scale structure of the universe. It's a theory that has stood the test of time and has been confirmed by countless experiments. On the other side, we have quantum mechanics, the theory that describes the world of the very small, atoms, particles, and everything in between. It's a world that's notoriously weird and counterintuitive, but again, it's a theory that has been incredibly successful in predicting experimental outcomes. So we have two theories, each incredibly successful in its own domain, but when we try to combine them to describe the gravity at the quantum scale, they just don't play well together. The mathematical equations break down and the results make no sense. This is where the concept of quantum gravity comes in. Quantum gravity is the holy grail of physics, the elusive theory that can reconcile the world of the very large and the very small. It's the missing piece of the puzzle that could help us understand the nature of time, the origins of the universe, and even the mysteries of black holes. But despite decades of research, we still haven't found a definitive theory of quantum gravity. It's one of the biggest unsolved problems in physics, a mystery that has perplexed the best minds in the field. Yet amidst the uncertainty, one theory stands out. Loop quantum gravity. Loop quantum gravity, or LQG, sounds like something from a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But it's much more than that. This intriguing theory is a proposal for the quantum mechanics of gravity, a realm where the fundamental forces of nature play by entirely different rules. So what does LQG propose? At its heart, it suggests that space and time are not continuous, but rather they are quantized. This means that they exist in discrete, indivisible chunks, much like the energy levels in an atom. Picture an atom for a moment. Its energy levels aren't a smooth, continuous spectrum, but rather, they're distinct steps. An electron can exist at one energy level or another, but it can't exist in between. This is the essence of quantum mechanics, where the cosmos plays out in a series of tiny, discrete packets of energy. Now apply this same concept to space and time. Just as the energy of an atom is quantized, so too, according to LQG, are space and time. They aren't smooth, continuous entities, but rather they're comprised of tiny, indivisible chunks. In essence, they're pixelated, much like the image on your computer screen. So, if you were to zoom in on space and time far beyond what any microscope could achieve, you'd eventually see these tiny, indivisible pixels. Each one represents the smallest possible chunk of space and time, an ultimate limit to the divisibility of the universe. This is a radical departure from traditional views of space and time, which depict them as smooth and continuous. But it's a necessary step if we're to reconcile quantum mechanics with gravity, two realms that have stubbornly refused to play nice with each other in the equations of physicists. But remember, LQG is just a theory. It's an attempt to explain the universe and its workings in a way that aligns with our observations and experiments. Whether it's the right explanation, well, that's a question for future researchers to answer. In other words, LQG suggests that space and time are made up of tiny, indivisible chunks, much like the pixels on a screen. So what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? How does LQG challenge our conventional views? Loop quantum gravity, or LQG, is more than just a theory. It's a potential game-changer, an idea that could reshape our understanding of the universe and everything within it. 
Let's start by picturing a black hole. Traditionally, we've been taught that at the heart of a black hole lies a singularity, a point where space and time as we know them collapse. This singularity is, quite literally, an enigma wrapped in a riddle, nestled inside one of the most extreme environments imaginable. But what if, instead of a singularity, the center of a black hole was a portal to another universe? Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? But that's exactly what LQG suggests. The implications of this are staggering. If true, it means that black holes are not the all-consuming monsters we once thought. Instead, they could be gateways, bridges to entirely new universes. And what's more, these new universes could be subject to their own physical laws, perhaps even different versions of gravity. But the potential implications of LQG don't stop at black holes. This theory also has something to say about the Big Bang. Traditionally, we've thought of the Big Bang as a singular event, a point of infinite density from which our universe sprang into existence. But what if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning? What if it was just a transition, a cosmic changing of the guard from one universe to the next? Again, this is precisely what LQG suggests. These ideas are admittedly mind-bending, but they open up a world of possibilities. They suggest that our universe is not a standalone entity, but part of a much larger, perhaps infinite, cosmic landscape. Indeed, if LQG is correct, it could revolutionize our understanding of the universe and its origins. It might even lead us to rethink our place in the grand scheme of things. And that's something to get excited about. So where do we go from here? What's the future of gravity research? Let's turn our gaze towards the horizon of loop quantum gravity, or LQG, a realm still ripe with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The quest for experimental evidence remains a fascinating journey that continues to challenge and inspire researchers worldwide. One of the key pursuits in the field of LQG is the hunt for quantum gravity effects. This involves looking for minuscule variations in the behavior of gravity at incredibly small scales. The challenge? Well, gravity is a weak force, and its quantum effects are even weaker. Detecting these effects is like trying to hear a pin drop in a thunderstorm. But that doesn't deter our scientists. Their relentless pursuit for knowledge continues unabated. Another area of focus is the concept of quantum spacetime. LQG proposes that spacetime is not continuous, but made up of tiny, indivisible blocks. The challenge here lies in testing this idea. How do you measure something that is supposed to be so fundamentally unmeasurable? But again, this is a challenge that excites researchers. They are constantly developing new theoretical tools and techniques to tackle this problem. The future of gravity research also sees the integration of LQG with other theories of quantum gravity. There's a growing recognition that no single theory will have all the answers. Instead, it's likely that a unified theory will emerge from the interplay of different theories. And let's not forget about the role of technology in shaping the future of this field. Advances in technology will undoubtedly play a vital role in our ability to conduct experiments and gather data that could provide evidence for LQG. The road ahead is filled with challenges, questions, and a lot of unknowns. But that's the beauty of scientific exploration. Each challenge presents an opportunity for discovery. Each question a chance to gain new insights, 